welcome back to my channel this is Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today I'm going to be discussing five things that I did that stopped my hair from growing now before I go on to this be sure to subscribe guys because next Thursday the 22nd it's going to be my two-year anniversary since my big chop so I'm gonna be doing a video showing you pictures and talking through the pictures of how I got from this to this so guys, if you don't want to miss that, go ahead and subscribe today and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload that video. Okay guys, let's just jump straight into this one. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to be telling you the five things that I did that stopped my hair from growing. And the first one being using heat. Okay, so in my last video, I did mention that I use a hair dryer, which is fine. You don't need to stop using a hair dryer. And I haven't straightened my hair but I have been using heat from the hairdryer. A year or so ago, I'd done a challenge where I didn't use any heat whatsoever on my hair for one year. My hair grew tremendously. It was thick, it was long. Then I started messing around with the hairdryer and I thought, let me stretch it a bit. I wanted to stretch it out longer, fuller, whatever. So after the year, I decided to go and use heat, but I was using it excessively. I was using it almost every day, so maybe every other day, because my hair was so healthy, it was super curly. So when it was super curly, it would shrink up. So then even just putting my hair in a pineapple or banding my hair, which I'm really not a fan of, it never really used to work. But when I used to apply heat on my hair with the hair dryer, just stretching the roots, it did cause some damage. I noticed my hair was getting really thin and stringy at the back, and I'm still recovering from this today. So they're getting their curls back, they're getting their thickness back, but it has taken a time, guys. So I wasn't just stretching the hair, I was also diffusing it on a high heat. So when I was diffusing it, obviously the ends were getting fried, and the ends are the parts that need to be protected, guys. So I wasn't protecting them. I don't think I used heat protector as far as I can remember, maybe here and there, but not, not religiously like, as, as I should have done. Okay, so number two, deep conditioning my hair. Um, deep conditioning, it made an immense difference, guys. My hair was super moisturized. It wasn't mushy because I'd fit in my protein treatments. I had a routine and it worked. I don't know why I troubled my hair. My hair would be a lot longer than it is now and I w most people wouldn't even have to have big chopped. But you live and you learn, it is a journey and that's what I'm going through right now. So I stopped deep conditioning after a while because I just got lazy. Um, I can fit in deep conditioning for about an hour or so, go and wash the dishes, do some ironing, do the dinner, and then I'll come back and rinse it out. So I can fit it in, it's just that I just could not be bothered to. So I literally got to a point where I was just shampooing my hair, maybe conditioning it and just, you know, styling it. So my hair wasn't getting the amount of moisture it needed. I even started doing overnight deep conditioning and I've done a video and you can check that up here click the link now and you can see how my hair turned out after overnight deep conditioning and my hair was amazing and I used to do this once a week and again I just got lazy I couldn't be bothered I didn't like going to sleep with wet hair I don't mind it so much now but um, I've just gone back to the traditional deep conditioning i.e. wash days will have to be in the morning because my hair takes super long to dry so that was it that was the other thing that stunted my growth my hair wasn't getting the moisture it needed I was just putting oil on top of my hair without having moisture in the strand, so I was just sealing in dryness, basically. Okay, so number three is protective styling. Um, protective styling for me, it helped my hair to grow, but my hair still remained thin because it was damaged, and I wasn't uh, moisturizing my hair as it should. So this is the thing. I feel that protective styling can make your hair grow because it's low manipulation. I'd usually leave my hair for about a week, a week and a half, as long as I could stand, as long as it looked neat, you know? But there are times that I didn't do anything to my hair. I didn't spritz it in the mornings, I didn't seal it in with oil, I didn't um, maintain the condition of my scalp. And I noticed my hair, every time I took it out of the protective styling, i.e. the cane rose, my hair did start to break off. It was getting longer, but it was almost stringy. So, because I wasn't maintaining my protective style, it then led to my hair growing, but not growing in a healthy state. Okay, number four, finger detangling. I think I mentioned this in my video where I was talking about natural hair rules that I break or I don't follow, and one of them was finger detangling, and I stand by that, guys. I hate finger detangling because I hate the feeling in my fingers. I hate combing my wet hair through my fingers, feeling a knot, and I can feel it pulling at my roots. It's so painful. And then if I get a knot, I feel like I snag out the whole knot before I even have a chance to separate it. 
So what I tend to do before I actually go in with a wide tooth comb, if there is any, if there are, sorry, any knots in my hair, I will then just separate them and then I'll comb from the ends all the way up to the roots with the wide tooth comb. But finger tangling, I found that was ripping out my hair. Some parts of my hair were short, some parts were longer, some parts were thinner. Um, I've just never been a fan of finger detangling. Okay, so moving on to number five now. I found sleeping with a bonnet or some type of protection over your head at night, i.e. a silk uh, pillowcase or as I said, a bonnet, scarf, what have you. I found not doing this dried my hair out tremendously. So I would go to lengths of moisturizing my hair, sealing it at night, then lying on my cotton pillowcase without a bonnet, wake up in the morning, all the products from my hair is now on the pillow and my hair is super dry and crispy and crunchy. <laughs> I learned my lesson from that guys, you've really got to protect your hair. As thick and dense as my hair looks, our hair is, well when I say our, I mean curly hair, our hair is very very fragile, easily breaks off. Because it bends so much, it's doing so much already, it's not as strong as straight hair, which just obviously lays flat and has that whole strength. Our hair is... Already it's got bends in it because it's curly, so it's already fragile. Sleeping with a bonnet on now, that has helped my hair to grow past shoulder length. It's actually armpit length now, and as I said, close to bra strap length. And again, cutting out these little things, or doing these little things, I should say, have made a tremendous difference to my hair growth. Not only growth, but health. You don't just want to grow long hair, guys, that's breaking off and thin and, you know, ratty. You want to have nice healthy thick hair so i'd rather have this length whilst my hair is healthy rather than having you know tailbone length while it's really thin and stringy okay guys so those are my five things i've done that stop my hair from growing and i have now reversed them and i've seen much growth and i'm very happy with that anyway guys that is it for today just a short video and i will see you on saturday when i will be posting my next video then monday and then next thursday guys don't forget next thursday my two year hair big chop anniversary and i'll be talking about the very day that i big chopped all the way up until present day which is now so guys if you are looking forward to seeing that don't forget to note hit the notification bell so you don't have to miss a video okay guys thank you for tuning in this week and i will see you on saturday all right have a good day bye hey.